December 1st, the first day of the last month of 2013. Um, with everything this year has brought, it's it's so important for us to realize that finishing is just as important as starting. And you may have had a rough and rocky start to the beginning of 2013, but just take these last 31 days of the year to really focus on who God says you are, what he's called you to, and the person he's created you to be. Um, a lot of times when we fail or we disappoint ourselves, we just stop and we quit because we aren't where we think we should be. But don't allow the attacks of the enemy to convince you that you don't still have time to draw closer to God. The love that God has for us, it's never ending, it's unfailing, and it will meet you exactly where you are. If you've been following along in the Wives and Waiting Journal Challenge, we spent the month of November in the book of Hosea, and we just finished the book of Romans yesterday, and we're going to finish out the year in the book of First Samuel. Even with that, if you haven't been following all along or you haven't started yet, pick up where you left off. Just go ahead and get started. Start something that you can finish by the end of the year. It's so important to us because God tells us that the work that he starts in us, he will complete it. He will bring it to the past um, in the day of Christ Jesus. And we have to remember that God has given us an assignment and we have to complete it. If we're in a relationship with God, just as we're in a relationship with our husbands, there are certain things that God has called us to, that God wants us to complete it, that we have to be able to make a commitment that lasts until the end. Today is the first day of our hold fast um, that we're partnering with Kia Granberry with for the month of December, and that focus is on purity. And when our hearts are pure and our motives are pure, it's because that we've put them in God's hands. So we can't get caught up in what people say or what people think. This is truly our, our desperation time to get so desperate with God that we don't have time to, to owe people anything other than love or to have a heart that's not pure. So just really take this time to, to reevaluate where you've been this year and where you want to be by the end of the year. It's, it's important that you push towards that goal and make realistic goals for yourself that you can actually meet and complete spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, even in your career, in your relationship. Make a commitment to only say positive things about your spouse, only positive things about yourself. Finish this year strong. Finish out this month strong because the way you end this year plays a really um, huge impact on how you begin 2014. Don't overlook these last 31 days. They are very important. And what you made, the, the promises that you made to yourself and the promises that you've made to God, you are worthy of them being completed. You are worthy of them coming to pass. So focus on finishing strong with a pure heart and we're going to attack First Samuel head on. Um, as a member of Wives and Waiting, you know that there is a great a momentum building as we move into 2014 and just prepare for our first Wives and Waiting conference next year. So I really want our hearts and minds set on, on who God has called us to be and doing those things God has called us to do. So have a great December. I'm looking forward to hearing the testimonies as we finish out this journal challenge at the end of the year and how it has impacted you. I'm enjoying reading all the emails you've been sending me, all the Facebook messages, all the tweets. Keep them coming. They are an encouragement to me and the other people that I share them with. And as usual, I love you, but God loves you so much more. Peace and blessings.